What's up you guys, Creations here. I hope you're having a lovely day. Hope you're feeling good. Hope you're looking good. Hope everything is great. Today we're doing some more Am I the Asshole? Just random edition with this one. Um, if you don't know me, don't know who I am. My name is Creations. I do a lot of Am I the Asshole and read a lot of random subreddits here and there. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, it's gonna be Creations underscore reacts on Instagram and JOKB underscore creations on TikTok, Twitch, and Twitter. Or I guess X or whatever. Let's go ahead and get some of these Am I the Assholes because you just might be. Am I the asshole for telling my niece to quit telling me if a random celebrity is problematic? Says so not the asshole, and honestly, I don't think she's an asshole either. Okay, so there's too long, didn't read. We're gonna read it regardless. I read things. I like to, I'm starting to honestly like reading a little bit more, honestly. I do not mean celebrities who are genuinely extremely horrible people. I, 36 male, have a niece, but she's 19 female who is obsessed with a certain celebrity gossip group. She says she reads it and in participates in it a good two hours a day. I know a lot of people like to gossip here and there. Shoot, even I do it. I, But to be fair, usually whenever I do it, it's just stuff if I say it, I don't mind saying it to a person's face because if I'm going to say it behind your back, I'm going to say it in front of your face if you ask. But, um... I don't know. I don't know if that's 19, I guess. She says she reads it. Oh, okay. Hold on. I literally cannot mention a song, show, movie, etc. I like with her bringing up stuff she read about the celebrity in question. Sometimes I will like post things in my group chat universe and stuff like that, but I don't ever really go that deeply into it. I just be curious sometimes, but I don't, I don't really care that deeply. I don't have much going on in my life, so sometimes looking at other people's stuff just interests me. That's all it is. I'm very boring, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> and it comes down to the stupidest stuff like deciding she hates somebody because of their vibe. Honestly, I will say that I was guilty of that at one point. I will say I'm guilty of that. But to be fair, it's not like I really like I think it's just more of a personal thing. I just probably wouldn't care to talk to them or some shit like that. In regards to music, I can definitely like separate the music from the artists themselves or the acting from the artists themselves. Um, acting here and there, depending on who it is. Uh, but I'm usually pretty chill. I like even if it's a problem or issues or something like that. If they're like a mus not a musician, a artist in the sense of like music, I can usually separate those two things. I don't really care that deeply. Uh, when it comes to movies, I think I can do the same thing with that, honestly. Really depends on what the person did. But let me continue. I keep side ranting. And it comes down to, okay, da, 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 or because they made a dumb tweet when she was a toddler, even if they apologized. Yeah, they can apologize. It just depends on who forgives them or not. If she really hates an actor, she will swear up and down their movie will flop. As if literally everybody on the planet read the same 100% com confirmed true TM comment from two years ago about the actor being an entitled diva on set. I think I've only, I'm pretty sure this probably relates to some other people, but I don't know why I feel like I've only heard this about Ariana Grande. I'm pretty sure somebody else has. I just can't think of anybody else off the dome. But, uh. Yeah, like, again, to me personally, I don't really care about a lot of people's issues in the sense of like the, not maybe not issues, but the drama, the gossip and stuff. I like to listen to it here and there because again, I don't have like any other, I don't have things going on in my life. So I just like to hear about it, hear about the stuff that's going on in the world. So I'm not really like behind, I guess, because <laughs> I don't be knowing about a lot of things, y'all. I don't. Like, when I tell y'all, all I really know when is whenever I listen to, like, D Chanel and she talks about it on her channel. Like, she'll react to it or um, uh, The Shade Room on Instagram. But other than that, I don't, I don't really be looking that hard for it at all. I don't care that deeply. A few hours ago, when she was visiting, I live in Manhattan and she lives in New Jersey. I unfortunately forgot she could get like this and she saw I had a movie laying out. She said, no offense, but how can you enjoy this movie? The movies may be funny. 
or something. She explained the actress had some drama with a One Direction singer a few years ago and that it was a huge surprise she still had fans. People are fans to the most horrendous people on earth. I feel like anybody can honestly have fans nowadays, truly, or supporters. Like, just because you might not support them does not mean they don't have supporters. Some people can overlook stuff or just not care. Literally, nobody in real life cares about this stuff as much as you do. Fair, fair. Call people out if they are supporting or defending horrible people. But if you but you need to stop obsessing over low low level drama. She argued that I was being rude and enabling toxic celebrities. And I told her to leave because I was not in the mood to argue with her over a freaking movie. I wouldn't be either. I'm sorry. I like this movie. I don't care what they did previously. The movie itself didn't do nothing. I like the movie. I like the character. Calm down. She left and texted me. Why you got, why do they always be texting? They always got a text that she would be blocking my number because I apparently made her feel too embarrassed to talk about her hobbies anymore. Her hobbies, that's a hobby? Girl, you getting paid for this? Like, a hobby in regards to, you know what, let me finish. And it took her so much to get here from Hook Hoboken. And I ruined the city for her. My sister, aka her mom, told me I was out of line and to not have Thanksgiving with them. Am I the asshole for how I handled this? No. Not at all. Not a little bit. Not, not, not even a smidge. I don't know personally for me I like just for me and I I could be tongue-tying myself doing this that and the third whatever I don't know I'm not the best with words even though English is my first language I'm terrible um when it comes to celebrities and the issues that they have going on or the problematic stuff they got going on or this that and the third I'm gonna be honest I don't really care that deeply I care enough to the point to where I'm just curious to see what's going on if I see it on a thumbnail or something and then I barely do that usually it's mainly through the shade room if I like do read it or see it myself usually whenever it comes to celebrity gossip and stuff like that I honestly go to D Chanel's channel and that is not always what it is but she reacts to um gossip channels and stuff like that and honestly I just I, it's just a vibe, honestly. I just like to listen. I like to hear opinions. I like to hear her opinions here and there too, as well. I might not always agree, but I don't know. I like the vibe that she gives. You know, like she gives a very real, authentic kind of vibe, and she's just relaxed. Like she doesn't really care that deeply. I don't really care that deeply, honestly. I listen to an artist, even if they've done some outlandish stuff mainly because I can separate the artist from the artistry like the art from the artist some people can't do that and I can understand that for me personally I can I will listen to music you know people say Doja Cat's problematic Ariana Grande a lot of people even people that people wouldn't expect like Beyonce and stuff and it's like for me personally I don't care if the music is good I'm gonna listen to the music okay if the movie is good I'm gonna watch the movie like shoot for some people they're not gonna watch the movie because like I think Wicked for example um you know because of Ariana Grande and stuff like that for me personally I love movies just in general movies that have like this beautiful mainly animated I love animated movies but like movies that are like kind of like Wicked like the trailer that we watched um haven't checked that out go check that out but um you know I'm gonna still watch it like I want to watch it. I have not watched the uh, the play. I know this is a play and they adapted it into a movie. So I'm definitely going to be watching it. It's something that's going to have beautiful music. Are we, Cynthia Erivo is going to be in it. I can't wait. I can't wait to see her. Mm. 
So I'm excited for that. But yeah, in regards to like this whole thing, do I think am I the asshole for telling my niece to quit telling me if a random celebrity is problematic? I don't think you're the asshole. Not everybody really cares that deeply about the stuff. They will still watch the artistry or listen to the art and not really care that deeply about what the person has in regards to their drama. And obviously there's a difference in regards to them being horrifying compared to it being things that don't affect their lives. You know what I'm saying? Like, like if it's just like little drama that isn't as big as some people would like it to be. Like if it's cheating, this, that, and the third, obviously nobody, I'm not condoning cheating. But like stuff like that, I don't care that deeply, honestly. I really don't. It's not a big thing for me. It just doesn't do anything for me specifically. Like I'll hear about it, maybe even tell a friend, but that's just it. I don't really go that deeply. I still listen to music. I still watch a movie, you know? Um, depending on how horrific it is, I might see it a little bit different. It just depends on how horrific it is. Um, but yeah, it, that that's just to each their own though, my opinion. Um, next, I rambled on that one. I do apologize, y'all. Am I the asshole for getting upset that some random dude struck up a conversation with my significant other? Says asshole, and I think it really depends on what type of conversation. Um, if they're trying to hit on them, that's one thing, but if it's just a random conversation, maybe. Um, and that might be just them being insecure, but that's just my, I'm just guessing so far. My wife and I go to the same gym. Today I noticed some bald guy chatting to her while she was working out. I usually don't do anything because she can take care of herself. Good. But in a gym, I feel it's a little different. Mm. Gyms are notorious of being full of creepy, testosterone-filled apes who unashamed, unashamedly hit on female users. I'm not gonna say that this is completely false, how? Because you know, on social media they show that. I don't know. I think personally for me, because I I've, I've just never seen it in person. I've I've been to the gym several times, a good amount of times at least. And I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's just not my gym. I don't know. I. I I feel like a lot of the things that be happening on online just don't be happening that much in real life life like that like to where it's consistent amount of times and this is just one of those I don't know personally for me uh, obviously y'all might have a different story but I don't know I don't really see this as much or I say as much I haven't seen it at all okay unless it was online so there's that I was really annoyed by this and went to talk to her to discreet discreetly ask if anything is everything was okay and to show the guy she wasn't alone afterwards my wife was livid and asked why did i do that and she said he wasn't a creep and if he was she would have told him to get lost i don't think my reaction was unwarranted so am i the asshole um my opinion actually with this one i do if if she if she would hmm I can't talk for some reason. If you do think that she can take care of herself, like you said, she should be able to handle that. Obviously, if it gets to the point where it's a little physical or if he's getting a little too close, this, that, and the third, you know, and starting to touch her or whatever, that's one thing. If they're just talking and it seems like she's pretty good on herself, yeah, I do think that's just a little bit of insecurity if I'm being honest. Like, I, like obviously people are aware of the whole like, you know, gym thing. Um, again, personally for me, I've never seen it, so I can't say much. Maybe I'm just not that much of a lucker, but I don't know. Personally for me, I've just never seen it in a gym. Again, online, that's one thing. I think I've seen it online, but I just haven't seen it. But like, I don't know what, does it happen that much in your gym? Like, I guess that's the biggest question. Is it happening in your gym per specifically to where it's like that? And has this happened often? Like, those are the questions I'm curious about, you know? But yeah, do I think you're the asshole? Yes. Um, there are some edits though. Edit one. Okay, that was quick. I get it. I'm the asshole. I'll rain in my reactions. <laughs> edit two. Wow, this really turned into a shit show. I should point out that I just went and asked her if she was fine and left. Went back to my own stuff. And two, I should have pointed out my wife rarely picks up on people with bad intentions. 
In our previous gym, one of the staff there was an utter pig and she thought he was okay. Even after I pointed out he was awful, she eventually found out I was more than right, but didn't admit it. I mean, I think it really also depends on the person. Some people just don't really pick up on that stuff and don't really care. Like, I mean, if he's not really a person that she's interested in even really becoming friends with or really talking to like that, I probably wouldn't either, honestly. I would just kind of just work out what I'm there for, you know? So there's that as well. I am a little curious about the comments. So I'm just, you know, a couple. Did you urinate on her leg as well to mark your property? I laughed out loud at this. Me too. Wah ha 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 ha. Sorry. I was going to comment, but it was going to be better than this. She shit on it to really... Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. They, they, <laughs> they're going in in these comments. Okay. Calm down, y'all. At least with everything that's given right now. Yes. Do I think he's an asshole? Yes. In his first, you know, post. He didn't give much. Now he wants to give a little more after that. Uh Personally, for me, I don't think you're the ass. Mm. I do think you're the asshole. Again, if it got more of a physical area or she visibly looked uncomfortable, then yes. But if not, and it seemed like she could actually handle herself and she was pretty straight, I personally would have. At that point, that just feels like you're kind of insecure. Personally, for me, that's just how it looks. That's how it comes off a little. And even if you just went over there to say, like, you know, you okay? Not bad. Always good to ask. Just, you know, it does look a little... Because you're coming over there now when a person's over there and they're talking. So, uh, but I can understand somebody else's point of view as well with that. Next, but yeah, the asshole. Am I the asshole for telling my off a rent? Mm. Am I the asshole for telling off a random lady after an argument at the vet's office? Says not, says not the asshole. And for me personally, I don't know. Maybe I just don't really care that deeply. I don't know if I'd go back to that person, but I'm curious. This is a really emotional moment for me. My 30 female dog, Buddy. 30 in human years or 30 in dog years? Had to be euthanized. It must be in dog years. 30? No, wait, hold on. Apologies. They're thir Y'all see what I'm talking about when I say like how they place these ages and the, the gender and stuff? It makes me think they're talking about said person or being that they're talking about afterwards. Okay, the person is 30 and they're female. Okay, dog buddy had to be euthanized a few days ago at the age of nine. Oh, he sadly had a lot of medical issues and left us much sooner than we hoped he will. He was a really special boy. My wife, who was back then my girlfriend, Quinn, 33, female, I assume, helped me adopt him from the shelter when he was just a few months old. And we took care of him over the years together. Our kids, Maeve, 6, female, and Michael, 8, male, grew up with Buddy and loved him very much. We took them to vet to the vet with us and tried to involve them in Buddy's care as much as we could. So at the end of the journey, we let kids pet Buddy until he, he rests in peace as the vet, as the vet. As moms, Quinn and I just wanted our kids to understand what it meant to be mortal and how important it was to cherish every moment. A lady in here in her early 40s, Max noticed the situation. Uh, she pulled me aside and had a whole speech saying she saw what happened and was really disappointed. You felt like you needed to speak that? You felt like you needed to pull him to the side? Okay. She called us heartless for making our kids witness that. Well, I mean, there's a, there's a big point of that being... That's their kids. Mm. She said we scared them for life and now the trauma will forever be with our kids. Lady, you have a lot to say for kids that aren't even yours. That's all I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. 
I said I was comfortable with my mortality and I wanted to pass it on to my kids. She said multiple times how my wife and I were horrible parents and all. I would tell her off too the moment she said that. Well, the moment she said really anything after being disappointed or whatever. Be ready for me to cuss your ass out. I was extremely emotional then. I told her I couldn't honestly care less about her opinion at the moment. The conversation escalated a bit and I ended up with us leaving. Am I the asshole here? Should I have acted differently? No, you acted accordingly. You were actually very kind. Okay? Some people would have cussed her out. Some people would have knocked her ass out. Be careful with what you say to a person at a certain time in their life. Okay? Because losing a, a dog that is very emotional, that is a best friend, that is part of the family, and you're talking about about the kids witnessing this, that's that, and the third. The kids might have wanted to be there. The kids might understand. People be thinking that kids don't understand a lot of things. I feel like you can teach kids and have them understand things if you can at least word it to where they would have some understanding of it. You know, I feel like some can, some obviously probably can't, but I feel like some can if you can word it the best way you can to where they can at least consume it, you know? Might have to break it down a lot, but I feel like some can understand it, you know? So I think that's just what they were trying to do, make sure that they have an understanding of this because not not all animals and definitely not all people will be alive for like years upon years and just stay alive. No, we're mortal. We will soon eventually at some point, you know, pass away. So, you know, they're just trying to make sure that they understand that. So, my opinion, I don't think they were wrong. I feel like he was being extremely kind. I feel like she was being extremely kind. I think that's it. My 30 female dog. I assume the person who's talking is female. My wife, who was back then, my girlfriend. I'm, I'm making the assumption. Yeah. The person's female, I, I think. Yeah. So yeah, my opinion, I think you were in the right and you were being a lot more kinder. Very curious. Not the asshole, that random lady should not have inserted herself into the situation and minded her own business. I mean, nothing but facts were said. Honestly, she made it much more traumatizing than it needed to be. Totally not the asshole and I'd agree that this was fantastic parenting. Yeah, you know, eventually they're going to need to learn this stuff, you know, just kind of put it in a certain way where they can understand it, but you're not being too harsh about it, you know, and, you know, yeah. Um, seriously, it also offers up a good opportunity for closure and to say goodbye to beloved family. That lady needs to mind her own, yeah, a lot of the mind their own business is being said in this because uh, she needed to. Girl, mind your own business. If it is not your business, you might need to mind it. You, you, you might need to mind yours, you know, be careful, be careful. But yeah, my opinion, do I think she's an asshole? No, she said what needed to be said and she said it in a much kinder way than a lot of people could. That wasn't that, that was not that, that bad, honestly. I enjoyed that, I did like that. Um, and honestly, I liked the uh, last little bit, you know, in regards to am I the asshole for telling a random lady after an argument at the vet's office? Um, no, I feel like you were in your rights. And you're being a lot more kinder than a lot of people would have been, okay? Am I the asshole for getting upset that some random dude struck up conversation with my significant other? Yeah. It just kind of felt like you were kind of a little insecure. Like, even if you weren't fully insecure, it, it comes off a little that way, honestly. Personally for me. Um, and am I the asshole for telling my niece to quit telling me if a random celebrity is problematic? Not the asshole. Not everybody cares about that stuff, truly. They really don't care that deeply. Not a lot of people really care. Guess what? At the end of the day, some people will still listen to their music. Some people will still watch the movies. It is what it is. Does it mean that they agree with the celebrity and whatever problematic thing they did? Probably not. But guess what? They don't care that deeply. At least not a lot of people. Some people do. Some people will be very, you know, uh, very strict about it and will not listen to their music, will not watch their movies, this, that, and the third. You do that. You do that if you want to. Not everybody's gonna do it though. Me being one of them, I don't care that deeply. Um, to be fair though, I will say I also don't know 
a lot of the issues that they go through. I don't really know anything. Sometimes I don't know a lot of the things that they've done in the past, okay? And do I really care to this day? Not honestly. No, not really. You know, it it is what it is. Um, it, I think for me, it just depends on how, I guess, big it is and if it's a fact as well. Because a lot of this is gossip and whatever it is. We don't really know the full on truth, so there's a lot of stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and dip out, you guys. I am about to go meet up with a lot of my friends. Um, you guys have a lovely day. It is very bright outside. The pollen has been getting on my car, so I have not been washing it as much because pollen, pollen, springtime, bees, insects. It is around my birthday, and I love kind of the time, but it'd be hot, and it'd be pollen, and it'd be bugs. I hate bugs, if y'all can tell. I hate bees, specifically. And spiders. And insects. I just hate them. My gosh. Springtime, please. You're lovely, but insects can just go. Sweet. I'm going to go ahead and dip out, you guys. Love y'all. Deuces. Pieces. Reese's pieces. And uh, toodaloo. Bye.